Okay, what's up everybody? Had to do a quick video before I got to go into work. And I'm not going to be honest with you guys. I'm really going to be honest with you. Um, before yesterday's game, Lakers against the uh, Denver Nuggets, I was going to do a video. I was going to be like, man, I was going to be real cocky with the mouth. Real cocky. I was going to say, we're going to beat these dudes by 15 points. Uh, things happened. I didn't, I didn't hit record. I got too busy. And, um... I'm so thankful I didn't do that because, man, whoo. And the reason why I said we got I was thinking we were going to bang them by 15 points, that being the Lakers, is because Denver's a dangerous team, right? They're a real dangerous team. And it, they're a young team as well. And with the young team, the worst thing you could ever, ever give them is confidence. And I'm looking at Jamal Murray after they won the uh, uh, game three. And you see him in the, in the post game talking like, man, I thought we should have won game two. We were right there. And I'm sitting here like, would you take a look at this guy? Who's he? He had this whole other level of confidence. And honestly, everybody else on that team has that level of confidence where they feel the series at that point in time should have been tied. I'm sitting here like, wow, that's a dangerous team. So I was thinking going into uh, game four, I'm like, we got to punch these dudes in the mouth and let them know, hey, you just in the same boat as Dallas. Next year, y'all going to be a problem. Next year, we got to really think about y'all in the playoffs. Nah. After watching that game, Denver's a problem right now. Forget about next year. Forget about everybody advancing. They're a problem right now. And I was watching Jamal Murray, and honestly... That dude has, he's arrived. I, mean, I, I know I was having a, a conversation with a bunch of my friends saying, hey man, I think Jamari, is a, he might be a beast up there. He's like, yeah, he's, he's too young, hadn't really showed it, inconsistently, inconsistent, averaging 18 points in the playoff in a regular season. I'm sitting here thinking, but I'm watching every game. I'm watching him come back, down from 3-1, twice. I'm sitting here like, and I'm watching how... The series of moves this dude's putting on LeBron James and Rondo and Caruso and any other defender they want to throw at this dude. And the the the, the circus shots, the the one the little the Jordan one was like, uh, uh, with the uh, with the right amount of English to kiss it off the glass and go right in. Man, that was that that's a smooth shot. And the the one where he turned around and still hit it with the lefty. The left? That man has arrived. That whole team. They're a problem right now. Michael Porter Jr., next year, that dude's going to be a problem if he continues to progress. He's Right now, he's making a lot of mistakes. That's typical of a rookie, but he, give, him a, give him a call. Give him a pass because he's playing against some of the greatest talent on the planet for the highest stakes. Got to give him a call. Um, that whole Denver team, though, man, top to bottom, they, they're, they're about this life. They're about this playoff life, and I want to say... Oh, by the way, before I get into a prediction, I'm not going to lie. I think LeBron James fouled him on that drive. But when the game was within a point or two points, when Jamal Murray was uh, um, driving, I kind of think that was a foul by, Le by LeBron. I think that was a foul. He should have been shooting two. Jamal Murray, that is. Should have been shooting two. Um, but that said... We pulled away in the end. We made the we made the championship plays against a surgeon team. One thing though, I want to comment on AD because I I think me personally seeing him in New Orleans where he's just getting smoked every more often than not, this dude was going into a series saying, "I'm gonna get my little thirty, and I'm gonna probably go home in six. Now he's in a situation where it's like, oh. We're down, and we still got a shot to win. We're in a competitive series, and I think this is all new for him. Now, has he had a great series? No, but I think it's all a learning a, a, a learning experience for him because this is really his first time where he actually has a shot at doing something great in these streets with a team. And he's uh, he's he, he's not had a, he hasn't had a bad series, but he hasn't had that. Ah. And, I, and I think part of that is due to, what, like I just said, um, newfound greatness with the team. And I think also 
that the team is more balanced than traditionally. Like, Rondo's making plays. Uh, Dwight Howard's making plays. LeBron James, we already know what he is. Best player on the planet, by the way. It's not even close. And you're seeing what um, Kyle Kuzma's doing. So he does, AD doesn't have to take over the game, like, get those 30 points. But he can get those 20 and 24 points. And he's, he's getting that. I think now he just has to learn, okay, right now it's my spot to take over. It's right my this that point in the game where I can where I can do my dirt. Got you. And I think that comes I think that comes with time where that you learn the ebb and flow of a uh, playoff game. So, with that said, we still going to give it to the Denver Bron the Denver Broncos, the Denver Nuggets. We still giving it to them. It's going to be competitive though, but 3-1. I think we as the Lakers are smart enough to realize we cannot allow Denver to come in and, and win tomorrow. That being Saturday, you can't, can't allow it. Can't allow it. No excuses. We got to finish this team off Saturday. Cause if we don't, we're going to have some real issues, some real issues. Then it's going to be a whole different series. And right now I don't want to have that kind of, those kind of conversations with you. And more importantly, I don't want to have those conversations with me in the mirror. So we need to smoke these dudes ASAP, that being Saturday. Let me know what you guys think. Is it over on Saturday or do you think it's going six, maybe seven? Let me know. Anyway, guys, y'all be safe in these streets.